I just realized it's kind of like purple. What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is actually the first day of March and it's kind of time for me to touch up my hair. So today I'm going to dye my hair again and this time I'm still using Hello Bubble. This time I'm using 10AB Ash Beige. So once again, I'm not going to be priming or bleaching my hair. So if you're interested in doing like a color that is like the box, just know that if you just use this, you're not going to get it. You're going to have to really bleach your hair for this color to come out. So because I'm not looking for this color and I kind of just want to like touch it up and because I have like hair that grew out and to just kind of even out everything else, I'm just going to do it on my hair as it is. I will also put the link down below where I used Dusty Ash, I believe it's 6A, about two months ago. And that one, I actually had like, half my hair was actually like naturally black hair. So if you want to know how these turn out on naturally black hair, that video might be better for you. Let's get started! Okay, so before I begin, I want to show you the color of my hair. So this is like how my hair color is right now. So this part of my hair is naturally grown out black hair and the rest of my hair is kind of like brownish. I'm gonna use beige this time, it's 10A. And once again, like last time, I'm not going to be using any primers and I'm just going to just let this sit for 30 minutes and see what happens and I'll just accept whatever comes out. So for those of you who has never used Hello Bubble and are interested in trying Hello Bubble, this is the foam version, not the cream version. I've been using it for like a couple years now and I've never had like any problems with my hair becoming patchy or anything after I use it. And this one, I find it's like, it's very user friendly. You don't have to worry about having to have someone else do it for you. You can do it yourself. But what comes in the box is basically there's a number two. Number two is the hair developer. Number one is the hair color. So you put number one in here. And there's also a double bonding thing here. I think it's supposed to help with your hair to not get very um, damaged. So you put one and three and two and then you don't shake it vigorously. You kind of just swirl it around and it comes with a pump. It also comes with a manual and I believe this is supposed to be a cape that I never use. I use it, I put it on the ground. So, and it comes with gloves and honestly I don't like the gloves but they're always too big for me. So this is a cape. You can actually, you can put it on your, um, on yourself. It's meant for you to put on yourself. I just don't use it. Those gloves that comes with it are like, they're too big and they just slip right off. This is how There should also be plenty enough if you have long hair, but if you have like very long hair and a lot of hair, then that might be a, not enough. But I've like, I've done this with um, waist length hair before and like one bottle is more than enough. But then again, I don't have like a lot of hair. I have like, I think I'm like medium density, fine hair. took like eight minutes so it's pretty quick this is a trash bag not provided okay I'll wash it in 30 minutes I think it's actually not recommended to leave it on for longer than 30 minutes because the longer actually like if you do it over the 30 minutes it might actually start dark in your hair Okay, so it's been about a little over 10 minutes and I put this paper towel over my neck because if you've seen my past video of me dyeing my hair with the other color, I did mention that for some reason on my head, it leaks pretty easily. So this helps kind of just have the front and the back kind of just not leak all over the place. On my sister, she says she doesn't leak that much, but on me, for some reason, it does. I just kind of wanted to show you 10-15 minutes. I just realized... It's kind of like purple brownish, so I don't really know like because it's it's ash beige I don't really know what the base color is So I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out later Who it's raining really hard outside, but it's been 30 minutes and you see how much it leaked There's it's all over. I don't know like how much you can see 
in the back. This is all soaked. But I'm ready to get it washed off and then I'm not going to film this part because it's it is very stormy outside. It's really really loud because I think the rain is literally like smacking on the window. But I'm going to wash. I'm going to go ahead and wash this and then I'll just come back afterwards. I'm not going to film the part where I wash my hair. It's a little difficult. Okay, I'm done. So this is how it kind of looks. It's a little reddish in here, so I'm gonna see how it looks outside. Um, Cause in the mirror, it actually looks kind of, uh, kind of, uh, it's more yellow. Okay, well, it's uh, dark outside, so I can only stand under this light. Okay, so this is better lighting. So right under the light, this is how it looks. It's kind of yellowish, so it's not like, red tone when you see in the bathroom uh so i like how it turned out now it's like everything's the same color i might try another color next time because there is a couple other colors that i really want to try but so far this one's pretty good just know that if you don't prime or bleach your hair all the way it's not going to turn out like it is in the box so if you want to do it over like old color or like over dark natural color this is sort of what it's going to look like Anyways, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye!